Hey guys, welcome! It's Rachel from Girl Director and I'm really glad that you're here. And this is take two. I did a perfect take before about talking about lighting and I wanted to just give you a little bit of a little bit of an insider, a few tips on how to get how to make yourself look more amazing on camera using very simple lighting tricks because when I troll through all the videos on YouTube and things like that, that seems to be the most common problem is lighting. And you know being a director for 20 years I've now come up to the challenge that you know I've always had amazing crews that you know light things for me and I've always had amazing cinematographers that shoot things for me but you know technology is becoming so accessible that now I'm kind of the driver and now I've got to place those lights in positions that someone else would do for me so it's interesting you know when you suddenly become the driver you kind of go, oh, well, it's a little bit different than, you know, being a passenger and just watching where they go. So I just wanted to help you with a few tips. And, you know, I know this video might not be shot ultimately and perfectly, but what I think is more important is to give you the information and the tips so you can try things at home. So with lighting your face and things like that, it's really important to make sure that you've got a lot of light behind the camera facing you, front on, so you've got one key light at least, because that light's got to fill in all those dark spaces and shadows that can really, you know, bring out your wrinkles and bits and pieces that you really don't want to be seen. So it's important that you have like a light that's behind the camera. So maybe you might be behind a window like I am right now with tracing paper on it. Or you might have, you know, a desk light, a couple of desk lights facing you. I mean, that would be quite yellow light. So you want to be also careful of what color light that you want to generate because that can also affect the mood of your picture. A yellowy kind of light will, will make it warmer, whereas a cooler light will make it look colder. So it really depends on what message you're trying to create. And those subtle things can really make a difference. So I suggest that you know, you can pick up lights pretty cheaply these days from, you know, 60 bucks to $200 for a great lighting kit on eBay. So I suggest you pick up one that's an LED, you've got the little LED bulbs and, you know, they're the most cost effective to run. You don't have to then replace those giant big light bulbs with expensive bulbs if they break or something happens. So make sure that your light is also pretty, as bright as you possibly can, you know from 300 to, to 500 watts if you can um, because the brighter the light and also if you can control that light and you can control the dimming so that when you when you're on camera some of the lights I've seen you can have a little remote control which actually gives you the, then the flexibility make the light a lot more subtle or you can bring up the power if if you know the lights further away from you so you know and you know, the, the you know if you can get three lights to start with that's a really good start you know for your lighting package have one facing you behind the camera and then one either side playing with that and if you can have somebody stand in your place and just play you know play the person on the camera for a while that will also help you because you can then position the lights as if where you were going to stand they can pretend that they're you and you know in television land and film land would you you know that's called a we'd use a stand-in person to do that. So it's important at home to do the same thing because sometimes it's hard to tweak things and then run back and have another look because it often doesn't work. So another suggestion that if you're using the same place to do your blogs and things like that, mark crosses on the floor, you know, so then you can come back and those lights, you can put them in exactly the same spots and know where they're gonna go. And it just saves you time from having to set them up again. So this is things that we do on film shoots which make life a lot easier and then you can, um, you know, just saves time. So you'd mark the floor where you stand and you mark the floor where the lights and camera stand. So every time you want to set that up, if it's not in a permanent place, you can just go, okay, that's where my lights are, camera, and save so much time. So, um, so that's about it today. I'm sure there's so much more I can go into with lights, but I don't want to bombard you. Let's just um, give you those tips and off you go. Have some fun. Play around. Good luck. Bye.